brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back to Healthy Living. How important is your immune system? And what is its overall purpose? Joining me from Express Care is Dr. Yik Galam, who is going to give us the 4 on 1 on our immune system. <laughs> All right, Doc, now we always hear about are your immune system this, your immune system yeah. that. Well, what exactly what is it? Is, yeah, what yeah. is it? You know, this is a huge question because the immune system isn't one thing, it's a system. It's so many things in your body. So we always think of our blood like our white blood cells and in, in our white blood cells we have many components. We have many types of white blood cells. You've heard of maybe T cells in HIV, then we have B cells that produce antibodies. That's another portion of our immune system. Antibodies are specific proteins that attack you know, at, at, um, something that is a foreign invader, and they're, they're prepared, and then there's memory cells, too, that go along with them. Then we have your spleen, that's a, a cleaner of the overall uh, blood system. We have your bone marrow, we have your tonsils. These are all portions of the immune system, and the amazing thing is this all talks to each other without you having to do anything. You know, it's all coordinated and and the whole the whole purpose you asked what is the purpose of the immune system is to resist invasion by by foreign uh, substances for example bacteria and viruses those are the mo most common but did you know that the immune system also regulates many other things such as the rapidity of your skin turnover mm -hmm. um, uh, it regulates our response to for example um, uh, allergens in the air such as pollen and dust those aren't invaders those are not dangerous to us but our immune system is um, uh, alert on alert yeah. so it's, it's really a miraculous and not fully understood science there's a whole science of immunology um, and it's evolving all the time it, it's along with genetics it's a very complicated field but the good thing is we don't have to understand it just know that it works for us wow yeah. okay now speaking of knowing your immune system mm -hmm. is working for mm -hmm. you, how do we know if our immune system is weakening or is about to shut down? Right, right, right. So, we, and you hear those words a lot. So, you know, there are certain actual diseases where your immune system is about to shut down or doesn't work at all, and uh, they're, they're genetic ones. So ch some children are born with something called severe combined immune, immune deficiency. Those are like the kids that are in the bubble. You heard about the bubble kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they have no immune system. Or after an uh, organ transplant, for example, or bone marrow transplant, the person will have so-called no immune system and they're at really at very high risk of death. So, I mean, when you hear those words like our immune system is shutting down, you can obviously understand that is not in that extreme of a situation. But we'll have differences in how strong we are. Our immune system may be working at its peak when we're young and healthy and eating right and sleeping well. And it may be not quite at its peak when we're tired, jet lagged, uh, in menopause, recovering from a sickness, or grieving because our mind also affects our immune system and how well it functions. So overall, what you need to understand is that your lifestyle habits affect your immune system to a tremendous degree, particularly what you eat and whether you smoke and whether you drink and all of these things. These are very important um, in affecting how our immune system functions and also our thoughts and our uh, uh, thinking patterns affect how well we function. Okay, now you mentioned that we hear weakened immune system, our immune system shutting down, but we also hear about boosting your right. immune system. Right, yes. So how can we boost, boost. it? So that's, a, again, a complicated question. You can't like eat a supplement and then boost your immune system and suddenly feel very strong. Um, that the, there, There's no sort of mechanism for that, but you can, there's a lot of products that are out there for sale to boost your immune mm -hmm. system. So, um, you know, how can you measure that really? It, it, it's hard, you can't. Um, so a lot of this becomes about how you feel, which may be related to how well you slept the night before or whatever, right? So there's a big placebo effect. You heard of the placebo mm -hmm. effect where you take yeah. a pill and you think it's helping, but it's really just a sugar pill. So, mm -hmm. so do vitamins help boost your immune system? Maybe, maybe not, no one can really tell. So the things that you can do to so-called, or maximize or um, uh, optimize, let's say, your mm -hmm. immune system would be to live a healthy lifestyle. Get plenty of sleep, uh, eat well, 
don't drink too much alcohol, don't smoke, um, and um, if you're taking supplements, take them in moderation. You don't need to take a huge bag full of supplements like I sometimes see people with. Okay, now you mentioned sleep, get mm -hmm. enough sleep mm -hmm. uh, to keep a healthy immune system. Yes. Now, how long um, or how much lack of sleep is needed for your immune system mm -hmm. to break, not break down, break but down or be lower, be lower than usual. Yeah. And you know this because if you've been traveling or you're very, very tired studying for exams or whatever, or mothers, brand new mothers, mm -hmm. you know, of newborns and you're not getting any sleep and, and you'll catch colds more easily or you'll break out in shingles. That's a common symptom, you know, um, or just feel very run down and, or people with eczema, they'll break out in rashes when they haven't had enough rest. So um, you can sometimes observe it on your body that you're, you're developing sicknesses, but how do you know if you're getting en enough sleep? The simple qu answer to that is if you feel well rested in the morning, you know, you wake up, you feel, you know, good energy, you're, you're okay. If you're feeling tired or sluggish, you might consider, do, am I getting enough sleep or do I have a sleep disturbance during the night such as sleep apnea or, or um, you know, some other, some other sleep problem? Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. When Healthy Living returns, we'll talk more about our immune system and the doc will answer some of your questions. Stay tuned.